Gail, what's disgusting? For me, it's a mole. A mole. I thought I had a mouse in my house, and I put the sticky trap down and put some peanut butter on there, and came back, and the kids were screaming, saying, look at his fingers! And the nose was long and pink, and I was like, whoa! Oh. And it's like, who's going to grab this mole? Who's going to grab it? I'm not grabbing it. <laughs> That's a good question. They are an unfriendly-looking <laughs> bunch. So how do you take care of a mole? I don't know. I took the end of the broom. I put it on the sticky and threw the whole thing outside. <laughs> And off it goes. <laughs> uh-uh, I don't know. When I go back home, we put three of them down, and we caught three. And <gasps> I didn't get any more year anymore, but the exterminator is coming today. But Ooh. that was a thing. Yeah, yeah moles you- travel in packs. <laughs> yeah, will you call us back and let us know like how, how we can prevent moles getting in our house? Yeah. Yeah, I'd appreciate that. Thank you for taking the time, <laughs> and uh, good luck with your mole. Uh, real quick, Carrie, what's going on? How are you feeling today? I'm feeling great, thank you. Um, Why is your house so disgusting? Teenagers, anybody I have teenagers knows your house can never be completely clean, honestly. Mm. I have two teenage girls, but one decided that she would hoard candy in her room, oh. in a wire basket by her bed. Yeah. But she would leave it hanging, and then it would be open. And, you know, the ants come marching two by two. No, they come by 200 and 200. <laughs> and I had at least a couple colonies of ants. Mm. She's on the other side of the house. They would go through the patio door, through the front door, and there was a, I kid you not, like a four deep sugar ants going down the hallway. I traced them all the way down her hall, yeah. up the little wire basket in this candy heap, and they were a mound of red, like little sugar ants, because that's how many were feasting. I put taro down. It took me a while to convince them that taro was better than that pile of candy after I'd removed it. Okay. That's how bad it was. They yeah. all got the email. Got They're it. like, let's go. <laughs> how do you stop this? Did you have to bring somebody in to fix this? No, um, I had to just put lots of tarot traps, and I had to divert them yeah. to go into the tarot traps. Mm. And you just keep moving it so that they all go towards it and kind of they're like, no, I don't want to. And you're like, no, you're going to. (laughs) That was my move. Like when I lived with my parents, I would have just dishes and cups, like old milk, curdled milk cups under my bed. I'd have silverware. My mom's like, where did all of our stuff go? And then she'd find it all under my bed. Yep, I'm like, do you realize this brings varmints in? And because the one day they're like, there's something in my closet. I'm like, it's probably a, you know, Gus Gus in there yeah. having a very good holiday. Gus, 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 Gus. <laughs> oh, it's a hey, Gus Gus. Thanks, Carrie. I hope you have a great, <laughs> great day. That's great.